back with another video. This is going to be my recent pickups. This includes stuff mainly from yard sales and other random things. So actually I think yeah pretty much everything in here is from yard sales. It's going to be a wide range of things from random movies to plush to video games and it's kind of all in these two bags that you got. You probably can see this one but you can't see this one over here. So let's get started. I would have like organized it all but honestly I'm too lazy. So We'll just get started. So first, I do pick up a lot of things when I go to yard sales that I can sell on eBay so I can get some more money so I can go get some more video games for my collection. And that is why I picked these five, six, six movies up. And normally if you get like the Disney ones especially, they're easier to sell, especially a lot of the times if they're not Disney, you're going to have a hard time selling them. So these are the ones that I picked up. One of them in here is not, no, oh, this is, yeah. One of them in here is not Disney, but it's still a popular movie. Nala, really? She does not chew on her bone, I am dead serious, until I cut this camera on and start talking. Then she starts chewing on it. The second I stop talking, she stops chewing on her bone. It gets really annoying. Okay, so I picked up Valiant, which I've actually seen before. This is actually a really good movie. I was thinking about keeping this one, but it's not like, it's a really good movie, but it's not so good that I would watch it over and over again, so I figured I would just put it with a lot. Each one of these, except for one, was $2. Then I got Hotel Transylvania, which I also have. I love this movie. This is one of my favorite movies. I was happy to pick that up even though I already have it. Anything that's like a really popular movie is good to pick up and put in a lot because it helps it sell easier. Then I got Bambi 2, which I have or my little sister has, but I've never seen it yet. But it is a Disney movie. The Incredibles, seen it, also have this movie. Dinosaur, I have this movie on VHS somewhere, but I have not seen it in a long time, but I do like it. It's a good movie. I also like the ride at Disney World. This one I actually picked up from Goodwill, and I don't know why, I kind of wanted to watch it again, but like, I didn't want to watch it and like, keep it, because I'm not going to like, continuously watch this over and over again. So I picked this up for like two fifty, and that's Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, and I figured I'd pick it up, watch it, and then just throw it on the lot. So, I got those. Let me reach into the random bag of goodness and see what we got next. Alright, so, GameStop had a buy to get one free deal going on, and I took advantage of that. I didn't have much by the time I got to them, because this was like the second to last day, I think, before they stopped doing it. So, these are the ones that I picked up. So, the first one I got was the Order 1886. This was listed at 1899, which would make it the most expensive one in the group, but somehow she said that's the one I got for free, which, if that's the case, then I got a good deal. But I heard that this game, some people like love this game and other people do not love this game at all, like they hate it. So I'm going to try it out. The woman that works at GameStop said it's supposed to have really good graphics, but she's never played it. She's just heard that. So it's the Order 1886. I've actually been wanting this one since it came out. So I was happy to finally pick it up. This one, I don't know if this comes complete or not because nowadays you never know if it comes with the manual or anything. So, it was the inside of it. If anybody knows if it's supposed to come with anything else, let me know. But, I do like the back art in this case. So, I got that one. And then I also picked up this one, which I was originally going to get for my Wii U, but they didn't have much to pick for. And, I decided to pick this one up for my PS4, because they did not have it for Wii U there. And that is Shovel Knight. It's originally listed at $17.49. So that's what I paid for this one. And this does have a manual. It also has a code, so I'm going to put the code in the back so it's complete. It's kind of hard with these games now because you really don't know if you buy them used if they're complete or not unless you know for sure whether or not the game has a manual, which I never keep up with that, so I don't know if the game is supposed to have a manual or not. It's kind of annoying. I wish they still would print out manuals from a collector's standpoint just because 
I remember since I was like five years old looking at manuals, but most of the time now people don't even look at them, which is probably why they quit printing them because it saves them a lot of money. Then I got Journey Collector's Edition. <laughs> I literally spent forever trying to find another one to get for free. This is the one that ended up finding and I completely forgot about this game and me wanting this game. And it was kind of in, like, if you go into GameStop, you know how they have the games up on the shelves. Then they have the games, like, lined up randomly below that, like, aren't so popular. And I found this one there, and I'm like, oh, I've been wanting that game. Maybe I should pick it up. So this one was listed at $14.99. Like I said, this should have been the free one. I don't know how it's not, but I'm not complaining. I got Journey's Collector's Edition. And this is supposed to be, like, amazing. I've never played it. I've seen gameplay of it, but I've never played it. So I cannot wait to try this out. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to have a manual. Somebody let me know. But the game's in there. Really nice artwork in the back. This case needs to be replaced because it's kind of busted up at the bottom there. But I was finally happy to pick that up. So I got those for that deal. So from another yard sale, I found this guy. And he had these Xbox 360 games and some DS games. Which I don't think I picked up any of the DS games. No, I didn't. But I picked up something else that was DS related from him. But he wanted $4 for each game. I did not have this one yet. It's not the best deal for any of these games. Which I'm probably not going to pull out at the same time. But uh, I decided to pick it up because I did not have it. And I've heard really good things about it. And that is Bioshock Infinite. And this one is complete. Looks like it was a previous rental from like Redbox or something. reach into the random bag of goodness and I already showed that one in a past video. <laughs> reach back into the random bag of goodness. Alright, so these two were also from him as well, I believe. I know this one was. and I, So this would have been $4. I do not have any of the Borderlands games. So I saw Borderlands 2 there and I thought I'd pick it up. And this one is also complete and then I'm pretty sure I got this one from him too which in which case wasn't really a good deal because at GameStop on here it says it's $4.99 and I paid $4 for it but that's Gears of War 3 I have the first and the second one so I thought I'd add the physical copy of the third one to my collection I, I don't know if this is supposed to be the manual or not so somebody please let me know it's just like this crinkled up paper and then it has like the controls on the inside so I'm guessing that's it because there's no page numbers or anything but I don't know if it's like ripped off of a manual or something so somebody let me know about that then next I did pick up this movie and it's supposed to be a classic and I've never heard of it before I'm not selling this one this is one that I'm keeping um and this is Howard the Duck which is supposed to be a classic never heard of it or seen it before but it's weird though because I might have like heard of it or seen it in the past and never recognized it because this duck just looks familiar to me and I don't know why but I picked that up to watch it that was a dollar at a pawn store so I figured I might as well pick it up and the next things we pull out this I actually got these two together at Goodwill and recently, the way my Goodwill's been with, like, pricing things and, in my opinion, trying to rip people off for stuff that they're getting for free, uh, I was really happy to find this one and get it for a really good deal because they did not notice what was inside of it or didn't check it because they don't ever check anything. I will tell you a story real quick just because I, I have to. It bugs me. So, there was this case, and I did not know what was in it. So I decided to like open it just to see what was in it because I'm curious like that. And I opened it and it's like this makeup kit. And I'm dead serious. There are two Q-tips in there that was full of earwax or something that was brown. That I do not want to know what it was but I immediately shut it. Like just dropped it and <laughs> shut the top part of the case. You don't like, I don't understand why it's so hard to inspect something really quickly just to make sure that there's nothing in something that shouldn't be like dirty q-tips or like you know with games maybe they should i found about three or four games there 
that I don't know if somebody stole them. They could have because they don't put them in cases too much in that one anymore. But when you open the case, the game's not there. Or if you open the case, it's like a movie or the wrong game or something. I don't understand why it's so hard to go, oh, hey, like game, and then give it to somebody to put on the shelf. They just, oh, look, game, and toss it and don't even look. But anyway, the Q-tip thing was way beyond, ugh. I literally almost threw up on the spot, but thank God I have a strong stomach. But it was horrible. But anyway, I found these two there, and she gave me these for $2 each, which was a really good deal for one of these. This is a Sega Dreamcast game. I never, like, rarely find Dreamcast games in Goodwill. So this is a sports game that I do not have, and that's Sega Sports NFL 2K. And I do have the Sega Sports Dreamcast system. So I thought it'd be nice to have this with it. And I do. they had a basketball one that I was going to pick up, but the disc was like scratched to hell and there was no way it was going to play. So I just left it. So I got that. And then I saw this for $2, which I did not have yet. And I'm lucky I saw this because it was pushed in with the CDs and it was kind of sticking out. And all I saw was Nintendo on the top that was sticking out. So I pulled it out, realized it was a soundtrack for Super Mario Galaxy, which I did not have yet. So I wanted it just for the soundtrack. I opened it up. It wasn't. It was like this. Let me show you exactly what I saw. I opened it up, and then I saw this. So we have the soundtrack over here, which is right here. Really pretty disc. And then on this side, there's two more games shoved in here. And the first one I saw was Super Paper Mario, which I've been wanting forever. And I'm like, okay, I'm getting it if it was in good condition. And it's got scratches, but none of them are like deep scratches. So hopefully it'll work. So there's Super Paper Mario. If anybody has a manual and a case for this that they're willing to trade, let me know because I'm looking for one. Or if you want to sell it to me for a good deal, I really need a case for this one. I, I don't mind having loose games, but, but yeah, I do not like having loose games, but for Mario games, I like to have the cases for them. So I saw that, and then also in the case was this one, which was really dirty, but I cleaned it up. And that is Wii Sports Resort, which I already have. But it's another game in here, and I got it for $2. So I got the soundtrack, Super Paper Mario, and Wii Sports Resort for $2. So that is under a dollar a game and soundtrack. So I was very, very happy about that. This case is like in no way in good condition, but I don't care. I got finally got Super Paper Mario. I was happy. The Wii Sports Resort, I can stick with my Wii Sports copy that I got recently and sell it get some more money to get some more games so it all works out. I was very happy about that. Alright, so next I did pick up two of these. I don't know if I have them both in here or not. It, it was kind of funny because literally I ran out of space for like my 3DS and my DS games so I was literally looking for holders on eBay. I was going to order, I actually did order one from uh, China, but it never came in. Like, it was literally past two months and it never came in. So, somehow I, that got lost in the mail and I never got it. So they refunded me. So I was gonna buy another one of these, like, somewhere locally, but I ran across these first. I believe he gave these to me for a dollar. But I have another one and it's not in here for some reason. But I got two of these and they're, they're the same thing. It's Nintendo DS cases and each one I believe holds let's see 8 12 16 supposedly 16 games but really it holds 16 really it holds 12 because there are four slots for memory cards and you can't like change it to fit a game which sucks but they do hold DS and 3DS games even though it says DS on it so I was happy about that they're pretty scratched up but they still work and I needed the storage, so I was very happy to find those. I picked up this one off of eBay. I believe I got this for $5. And I saw gameplay of it, and I don't know why. I just found it interesting, and I, I thought I'd pick it up. And I like how it says, 2 a.m. is no time to be alone in the subway, and you're about to find out why. I don't know why. I just find that funny. So I picked up Renegade for NES. And... And then from Target, I found this game, and it was kind of shoved in the clearance section. And I thought it'd be, I, I love Godzilla, so I thought I'd pick it up, and it was only 
So I figured why not for a new PS4 game, six dollars. Godzilla can't go wrong. So pick that one up. If anybody's played that one, let me know. Because I don't know if that one's any good or not. Godzilla games are kind of like hit and miss. Some of them are good and some of them are really bad. So next, Let's see. So I went to this. Uh, this yard sale made me mad because I got there right when it started on the first day. And somehow some of the stuff that they had listed was not there. Like they decided to get rid of it or some they were holding it for somebody or something. But I contacted them. They never got back to me. They had like Mario games and the pictures that they had on Facebook. On Facebook. On Craigslist. But I got there and they had none. These are the only ones that they had. So I picked these two up. I got Final Fantasy 13, which I've heard is really good. And I've never played it. But I did pay $5 for this. But... It is complete, and it's in really, it's like, like new condition. It's got all three discs. There's disc one, disc two, and disc three. So, I've, I prefer the cases when you have multiple discs that, like, flip. Like, I have L.A. Nord down here, and uh, that one flips. Instead of these cases where you just stick them all on top of each other, but... It's still in really good condition, so I was happy to pick that up, even though I didn't want the Mario games. <laughs> then I found this one that I thought I would check it out. I've never seen this movie. My little sister loves this movie, and I did give her a Wii a while back, so I figured I'd pick this up and just give it to her. And that is Tangled, and it was only a dollar. So, I picked it up because I was desperate. It does not have the manual, but it doesn't matter. The disc looks good, so it should work fine. She should love it because she loves that movie, so I figured I couldn't go wrong with that. Uh, I found this one from another guy who I got a lot of good things off of. I got this for a dollar, and I it doesn't have the artwork, but I love these games. I did not have this one, and that is Blazing Angels 2 Secret Mission for Xbox 360. There's the disc. I love the Blazing Angels games, so I thought I couldn't go wrong with it for a dollar. So I picked it up. I, I got a really good deal from him too. It's also in here, which you guys will see. I found this one, which is a Pokemon book, and it is Kalos Region Handbook. I cannot say that. But it has 450 or over 450 Pokemon in here. It's made by Scholastic. This, I believe I paid 50 cents for this. But it's just got different like stats on different Pokemon, which is awesome. And I don't have any, I did when I was a kid have some Pokemon books, but they've been long gone for a while, so I thought I'd pick pick one up to have. So I got that for myself. And that lady was pushing so hard on me. Oh, I have Pokemon cards, you want them? I'm, I'm not into, I, I might start collecting them, but really, like, I, I already collect so much stuff, I don't need to get into anything else. She was trying so hard to push those off on me. So then I got... Wii Sports, which I think I picked this... Oh, this was from the same guy that gave me a good deal. Um, this was like a dollar. And Wii Sports, for some reason, goes for like eight dollars now, at least on eBay. And like, GameStop, you could trade in for eight dollars, but I never trade anything into GameStop. So, I got this. It's messed up on the back. I'm going to lot this one with... It's in the corner of it. But I'm going to lot this one with Wii Sports Resort and try to sell on eBay. I need to test this one first though because it's pretty scratched up on the back. But the case is kind of messed up. But as long as the game works, that's all that matters. I wasn't going to pass it up for a dollar. Then randomly, which I have another one of this same character, but I have no idea where he went. He disappeared off the face of the earth. So I don't remember what his name is, but this guy is from Over the Hedge. And I loved, like, I, RJ. His name's RJ. I loved Over the Hedge, still do love Over the Hedge and everything related to Over the Hedge. So I saw him and I had to pick him up. He was like a dollar at a yard sale and he's made by Namco, I think, Namco. So I picked him up for a dollar. While we're on plushies, I was at a church yard sale and they had these, I believe I got all of these for like 50 cent total. I was not passing them up because they're Lion King. You guys know me in Lion King. If I see anything Lion King, I literally cannot pass it up. Except for one thing that I saw in a Goodwill that was covered in like sticky, 
residue substance that I was not messing with. But other than that, I do not pass up Lion King things. So we've got Simba, adult Simba. We got Timon, who is like really laid back and chilled out. We've got Pumba. And Rafiki, who my little sister in Disney World, I forgot what she called him. It was like Freaky or something. It was something weird that she called Rafiki in Disney World. That was hilarious. I can't remember. She's in. If you if you guys get into a random cake and want to watch a random video, I will like post a link to the video. But I posted a Disney World video of like Fantasia that was going Fantasia. Is that what it's called? What the hell is the thing called? Fat, fat, phantasmic, fan, I, I don't know. But I posted a video of something that happened at Disney World. It was like this really big show that everybody loves. And Rafiki came out and she kept calling him something. And she called him when we were in Disney World, like, constantly. This was like a year ago. But every time I see him now, I laugh because of that. So we got Rafiki. And then we got Nala, which, thank God my dog's not in here because she would think I was talking about her. But this is who my second dog was named after and then I picked up these figures that I was really shocked to find because I literally was going to buy these on eBay because I was obsessed with this show when I was a kid if you guys are a 90s child which technically I was born in 87 but I consider myself to be a 90s child because I don't remember TV until I was like five four or five years old which is when I was in in the 90s so, I used to watch this religiously. I think I'm missing one character when I looked it up. But all of these are in the original McDonald's bags from 1992. And these are dinosaurs. Anybody remember dinosaurs? I love that show. But we got the Grandma. I don't remember their names. Does this have the name on here? Grandma Ethel. These are just little, like, you, you hit this. It kind of looks like it would be a water toy. But basically, you just pump this little thing right here. And they, like, do little motions. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the tail basically moving in the back. Then we got the mom, whose name is Fran Sinclair. In the back right there. Robbie Sinclair, which is the brother. He was one of my favorites. Him and the sister and the baby. There's the baby, which is baby Sinclair. You can see him. He's kind of turned awkwardly. Then I got another mom, Sinclair, which is Fran again. They gave me, like, all these sealed ones for... I think I got all of them for $3. Then I got the dad, who is Earl Sinclair. This one's got a hole in the back, but it's no big deal because I'm going to open them anyway. And then I got another dad. So I'm missing one. I can't remember which one it is. It's a sister. I'm missing the sister. So I need to pick that one up, but... I was really shocked to actually run into something dinosaurs related at a, a yard sale. I never, not in Goodwill, not in any thrift store, any yard sale I've ever been to, I've ever seen anything dinosaurs related. So I was really happy about that. Then from the guy that I got a bunch of good stuff off of, I got this Xbox, it's an original Xbox controller. It's wireless. Don't know if it's going to work or not because he had three different ones there plus a system. I was trying to sell it all to get, like, the system and the controllers together, but I, I don't need an Xbox system. So, he gave me this, and I'm hoping <laughs> that it works, because he had three different, like, wireless things like this. But it's Pelican brand, and for off-brand controllers, I love Pelican controllers. I've never had a problem with a Pelican controller. So, I was happy to, I don't know why, I just like it because it's yellow. And it says Blade on it, which is, like, the name of the controller. I thought maybe it was something like special or something, but it's not. So it's it's a little like scratched up and stuff, but I don't care. Like I just think it's awesome because it's yellow. I mean, who doesn't want a bright yellow Xbox controller? Probably not many people, but I love yellow, so it works for me. So I got that. Haven't tried it out yet. I'm hoping it works. That was I think he gave that to me for a dollar. And this is not McDonald's food, so don't freak out. <laughs> Uh, let's see, anything else in here? Well, yeah, but that's a good pickup, so we'll save that. So, this story is, I went to McDonald's, and I found out late that they were, sell that they were selling Skylander toys, 
and basically they were already done with the Skylander toys when I got there, but I did not know that, and they still had them in like the little kids mill case where they would, like display them. So I asked them which ones they had left because I was gonna buy, you know, whatever one they had at the time or whatever ones they did have. And they're like, oh, we stopped, we stopped selling those. They were really nice, and they went in the case and took them out of the case for me and gave them to me. Like I had to buy them. They ended up being like twelve dollars total, but. They still took them out of the case so I can get them. So I was very happy about that and appreciative. So I don't really know their names besides Spyro because I don't keep up with Skylanders. But I do like them. And I liked it. They're, these are little cars that like remind me back in the day when they used to sell like similar stuff like this at McDonald's. But these are like really cool, I think. So I got this one which has Spyro in it. They do have like some tape residue as you can see on this wheel that I need to get off probably with like goo gone or something from them sticking them in the display case then we got this guy I'll tell you their names on them no. I do have this vehicle though so that's nice and then we got this guy sorry I don't know the name of them I don't play Skylanders that much at all I do play it I have like three different games of it, but I don't play it that often. I do play it more than Disney Infinity, however. And I like Disney Infinity too, but my personal opinion is I'm probably one of those like random few people that actually like Skylanders more than Disney Infinity. I do like Disney Infinity, it's just to me, Skylanders is like more of a easy game for kids and I play games a lot with my little sister and it's just easier for her to play Skylanders and Disney Infinity, so I end up playing it more. But I got this one, which I don't know why. This, like, reminds me of, like, a Fred Flintstone car. Don't know why, but it does. And last but... Oh, nope, two more's in here. Got the shark guy. Really cool vehicle. And then we got this guy. Like a... <laughs> this reminds me of, like, a submarine mixed with a forklift. That's what that reminds me of. So I got those, so sort of basically $2 each with a little bit more change. But there were six of them. I really wanted them for my collection because I collect figures. So I was very happy. They were very nice about that. So. Yeah.